Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss a question that was asked in CSIR NET December 2018 paper. It is a question of uh, quantum mechanics. It asks, uh, the product delta x into delta p of uncertainties in the position and momentum of a simple harmonic oscillator of mass m and angular frequency omega in the ground state which is said to be 0 is h bar by 2. So this is a given. This is the given information to you the delta x times delta p in the ground state of a simple harmonic oscillator is h bar by 2. And now you are asked the, the value of the product delta x into delta p in the state which is given by the operator e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on the ground state. Here l is a constant and p is the momentum operator. So being asked to calculate what should be the value of the product delta x into delta p um, for this state. So see the, uh, to solve this question uh, there exists a trick which can be exploited uh, just by looking at the options. See if you consider this operator e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on the ground state you see if l becomes 0 that is if l is equal to 0 the this operator is actually uh, an identity operator for l equal to 0 which means that uh, e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on 0 will give you 0 itself for l is equal to 0 and therefore the value of the product delta x into delta p for this state given in the question should be equal to the value of delta x into delta p in the state 0 for l equal to 0. Okay, So now if you look at the options you would see that if uh, the first option contains l such that if L equal, is equal to 0, the first option becomes 0. But we have been given in the question that delta x into delta p for the ground state is actually h bar by 2. Therefore, the first option cannot be correct because it is 0. But we want h bar by 2. So, first option is not correct. Similarly, second option cannot be correct because it says it is h bar but we want h bar by 2. If you also see the fourth option, if you if you put l equal to 0 in the fourth option, it becomes infinity and hence this option can also not be correct. Therefore, the only option that can be correct is the third option. That means the delta x into delta p in the given state is actually equal to h bar by 2 which is the uh, the pro value of the product delta x into delta p in the ground state itself. Okay, so if just by looking at the options, you can arrive at the result. You can arrive at the answer to the question. But now let us look at a more formal way of solving this question. It would uh, give you a sense of how uh, how quantum mechanics works. Okay, so now let us look at the solution the detailed solution to this question. If you see, uh, here we have, you have been asked to calculate the value of the uh, product delta x into delta p uh, for the given state, okay, which is e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on the ground state. Okay. To calculate the value of delta x and to calculate the value of delta p, that is the uncertainties in the measurement of position and the uncertainties uh, uncertainty in the measurement of momentum respectively, you would need the expectation value of x, the expectation value of x square, the expectation value of p and the expectation value of p square okay, in the state uh, given in the question. So, let us start by calculating the expectation value of P 
um, over the given state. So if you want to calculate that, you would have to take um, an inner product of the state 0 with an operator e to the power i p l by h bar times p into e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on the zero state so the uh, the middle operator is what you have to evaluate to evaluate the expectation value of p over the new state to do that we recall the baker campbell hausdorff formula which says that uh, you can simplify an operator which looks like e to the power a times b times e to the power minus a as b plus commutator of a with b plus 1 by 2 factorial uh, into commutator of a with commutator of a and b and so on. If you do that, here b is equal to p and a is equal to i l p by h bar. So, all these commutators actually uh, reduces to the commutator of p with itself and you know that any operator has to commute with itself and therefore p commutator with p goes to zero and all these commutator terms become zero and you are left with expect uh, with the expectation value of p over the ground state itself so what this tells you is that the expectation value of p over the given state in the question is actually equal to the expectation value of p in the ground state similarly if you want to calculate uh, the expectation value of p square uh, uh, for the new state that's the state given in the question you would uh, arrive at the result that it's actually equal to the expectation value of p square uh, in the ground state itself and now since you know the expectation value of uh, p and p square in the new state you can calculate the uncertainty in the measurement of momentum um, in the new state and since those two values are actually equal to the respective counterparts um, on the ground state itself therefore you can say that the delta p in the state psi is equal to the delta p in the ground state so this is what written here now in the same way you have to calculate delta x for the state psi and for that you have to evaluate the expectation value of x over the state psi and the expectation value of x square in the state psi okay uh, so for that what you do you do the same thing you take 0 with an operator e to the power i p l by h bar times x times e to the power minus i p l by h bar and again with the same state 0 you take this in a product and here you, what you want to calculate is the value of the operator which is sandwiched between the state zeros so if you want to do that you again have to apply the baker campbell hausdorff formula and here uh, what you see here b e to the power a b e to the power minus a the b here for this case is actually x so this uh, the, the operator in between becomes x plus i l by h bar times the commutator of p with x plus 1 by 2 factorial into i l by h uh, to the whole square with commutator p with the commutator p and x and so on okay now you know that the commutator of p with x is minus i h bar and minus i h bar of course minus i h bar times the identity matrix you have to you have to know that the p and the commutator of p with x is actually minus i h bar times the identity matrix and you should also know that any any operator commutes with the identity matrix and therefore if you want to calculate the commutator of p with the commutator uh, of p with x 
you would get zero because p has to commute with um, minus i h bar identity matrix okay so all the commutators after the uh, after the first commutator that you see in this relation becomes zero and so you are left with uh, only the first two terms which is the expectation value of x on the state zero plus l times the scalar product of zero with zero but you know that zero uh, what you call the ground state of a harmonic oscillator is a symbol for the normalized ground state and therefore zero the scalar product of zero with zero should give you one because it is normalized so the expectation value of x over the new state is actually equal to the expectation value of x uh, for the ground state plus some constant l similarly if you want to calculate the expectation value of x square on the new state you would again do the same thing that you want to calculate the uh, inner product of zero with zero but an operator in between which is e to the power i p l by h bar into x square into e to the power minus i p l by h bar now this time if you calculate the commutators it would reduce to it would reduce to an expression which is written here which is x square plus 2l into x plus l square times the identity matrix okay you can do this you can you can check it out for yourself that this this reduces to this uh, uh, this operator the simple operator and therefore the expectation value of x square um, for the new state which is asked in the question is uh, actually equal to the expectation value of x square uh, in the ground state plus 2l times the expectation value of x uh, in the ground state plus l square times the uh, scalar product of 0 with 0 which is the, uh, which again can be written as 1 because 0 is a normalized state and therefore if you now calculate delta x the delta x as you know is equal to the square root of the expectation value of x square minus the square of the expectation value of x okay over the state uh, for which you want to calculate the uncertainty and therefore if you if you write those two terms which you've calculated uh, above that's the expectation value of x square and the expectation value of x uh, for the ground state and then you do the algebra you would find that delta x which is uh, written in the expression here actually becomes equal to the uh, square root of the expectation value of x square in uh, the ground state minus the expectation value of x in the ground state square okay so what i'm what i've uh, proved here is that the the uncertainty uh, in del uh, uncertainty in the measurement of position for the state psi or the state given in the question is actually equal to the uncertainty in the measurement of position of the ground state similar to the relation which we have proven here which is the uncertainty in the measurement of momentum in the new state is equal to the uncertainty in the measurement of momentum in the ground state and therefore if you take the product of delta x into delta p in the new state that should be equal to the product of uh, delta x into delta p in the ground state and the right hand side is given in the question to be equal to h bar by 2 and therefore the product of delta x times delta p in the new state uh, which is e to the power minus i p l by h bar acting on the ground state that uh, the product of the uncertainties in that state should actually be equal to the, uh, the value h bar by 2 and therefore you arrive at the same result so see you you could have you could have chosen the right answer just by for uh, just by uh, carefully observing the options and you can also uh, uh, arrive at the answer more formally
this is just to illustrate you that uh, uh, how to do calculations in quantum mechanics and what what does uh, what insights does it give you so i i hope that this this will this will help you and um, this exercise would help you in understanding how to take uh, uh, how to take commutators and so on how to how to use the fun of commutators to evaluate uh, complicated uh, complicated um, operators etc okay so if these videos are helping you in any way please like comment and share the video so that I'm able to know uh, that I'm uh, helping someone out there uh, so thank you once again for watching the video